हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक टू आर साइंस क्लास वी बिगिन विद आ सेकेंड टर्म पोर्शन दैट इज चैप्टर इलेवन सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एज अ चैप्टर इज टू लॉन्ग आई हैव डिवाइडेड इट इंटू टू पार्ट्स पार्ट वन consist of cell structure measurement and observation of cell cell size plant and animal cell and part 2 consist of microorganism let us begin with a part 1 that is cell structure now what is cell structure what is the definition of cell introduction cell is a fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organisms it's only with the help of cell all the life processes takes place now just see the structural organization of a book now observe this flow chart you see in the first box it is letter second box words third sentences fourth lesson fifth chapter and that overall makes one book so this is the structural organization of a book similarly this is the organizational level in living organism now what it consist of it consist of cells tissues organs organ system organism it is only with the help of cells that living organism carry out their life processes in 1665 a scientist robert hooke observed a thin section of cork under a microscope in this section he saw hexagonal compartments like those of a bee hives he name those compartments cells this term is derived from the latin word cella which means small rooms very small rooms like a hexagonal how the bee hives are in that way in 1838 the two scientists M J Seldon and Theodore Squan formulated a theory about cellular structure which stated all the living organisms are made up of cells and the cell is the fundamental component of living organisms in 1885 Rudolf Virchow stated that all cells are formed from pre-existing cells. The next one is measurement and observation of cells. In sixteen seventy three, Anton van Leeuwenhoek. assembled various lenses to construct a microscope you must have seen in your laboratory the microscope the compound microscope seen the picture they have given that is a compound microscope he was the first to observe live bacteria and protozoan cells under the microscope cells are extremely minute in size 
they are very minute we cannot see cells with the naked eyes we can't directly see them like this only to see them we required a microscope micrometer and nanometer are the units used for measuring their sizes the compound microscope is used for observing cells an object on a glass slide magnified many times by the lens of this microscope you must have gone in the laboratory there like rectangular glass like thing is there that is a slide on that we keep the whatever bacteria virus and all and then we put that slide into the microscope and then we can see and that is very very magnified and with the help of the lens we can come to know what it exactly it is next is cell size there is great variation in the shapes of cells the shapes are mainly related to their function just observe in the picture the different types of cells see their shapes are different cells are of many different shapes example circular rod shaped columnar spiral oval rectangular etc each cell contains various components for carrying out the life processes of the living organism these components are called organelles these organelles are studied in detail with the help of the electron microscope which can magnify images means very small images are magnified up to 2 billion times the actual size they make it bigger than 2 billion times from the actual size there are two main types of cells that is animal cell and plant cells these cells consist of various types of membrane bound cell organelles plant cell have a definite shape due to the presence of the cell wall around them beside unlike animal cell plant cell contains single large vacuole all these cells are known as eukaryotic cells this observe in the picture the plant cell and animal cell the next is four main parts of the cell and their functions first one is cell wall the cell wall is the outermost covering of a cell it is present only in plant cells so the cell wall is present only in the plant cell b1 is plasma membrane the plasma membrane also called the cell membrane is a kind of thin covering it is extremely delicate and flexible it is the outermost covering of animal cells so it's better when i'm reading now you see when i am explaining you side by side you see in your textbook also so that will help you to know better what exactly it is so you when you see the diagram you can correlate you can understand better c1 is cytoplasm the liquid part in the cell present around the nucleus is called cytoplasm 
इट ऑक्यूपाइज द स्पेस बिटवीन द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन एंड न्यूक्लियस सेल ऑर्गनल्स आर स्कैटर्ड इन द साइटोप्लाज्म सो दे आर स्कैटर्ड नॉट एट वन प्लेस डी वन सेल ऑर्गनल्स दीज मेनली इंक्लूड द न्यूक्लियस एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम गॉलगी बॉडीज लाइसोसम्स माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया वैक्यूल्स प्लास्टिड्स एक्सेट्रा सो दीज कंटेन्स ऑल दिस थिंग्स प्लांट सेल कंसिस्ट क्लोरोप्लास्ट न यूजेस ऑफ ऑर्गनल्स इन सेल्स वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ ऑर्गनल्स द न्यूक्लियस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गनल ऑफ द सेल देर इज a porous double membrane around it the nucleus controls all functions of the cell the endoplasmic reticulum is a squirreling net like organel it functions it fun its function is to make necessary changes in the proteins produced by ribosomes and send them to the golgi bodies golgi bodies are made up of several flat sacs their function is the proper distribution of protein they check whether there is a proper distribution of proteins mitochondria and plastids are organelles with double outer covering as mitochondria produce energy they are called the power houses of the cell the chloroplast in plant cell carry out the function of photosynthesis we have studied what is photosynthesis and what is the use of photosynthesis so the chloroplast in plant cell carries out this function of photosynthesis vacuoles help to throw out waste product of the cell vacuoles in animals cell are small whereas there is only one large vacuole in a plant cell